uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, one of my favorite games. Uh, not as great as original Deus Ex, but hey, I don't mind. This is this was really really balanced when when it came out. And uh, with this, uh, this is slightly modded, so I modded that this has the original uh, yellowish hue uh, shaders because otherwise it looks really flat, really. Uh, no, not really tone in any color pa palette, and we are trying to play this with it low, low violence. I don't promise that I won't kill anyone, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. Almost. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be proud. So this is Illuminati. And the clinics? We control the post rates. They will do as we say. Bob Page, I, I think, think we, we kill, him, kill him in Deus Ex. <laughs> America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. She found the gene sickness. She's out of our reach. Is she? And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. <laughs> Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? <laughs> They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. So basically, this mod here enables the so this is this is what waiting, Adam. Direct, uh, director Scott actually looks like uh, this is more in in the style of old uh, old game and there's like couple options if you want to go really yellow you can you can actually go with yellow but yeah I'll keep it on the on on the on the defaults 
Okay, Adam has a really messy office. Or is this her office? You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Make on honey. Hey, stop reading my email. <laughs> Please, Adam. I'm nervous enough. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. Oh, really? There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of. Eric, you wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading. Visitors must be accompanied. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, Pizza. you ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the auger. Here, watch. Go ahead. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. <laughs> You're Definitely. The point. Defense contracts keep us afloat. But neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's got big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Yes? Good evening. Ah, Pritchard. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you in the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. <laughs> you find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex cop. Duct tape. Ex SWAT, and you'd be surprised. SWAT officer. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. Uh huh. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Oh, gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. 
Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest of encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every day. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Well, of Laboratory course. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Richard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro chem labs. I think she's running. Yeah, damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! He's, she's strong, and he has a machine gun in his hand. Okay, that's that the one is looking this way. Masterful. Well, who was that? She's pretty badass. Okay, so he, he opened the door. This actually, if you want to be like total pacifist, th these guys actually are actually part of the calculation. So if you don't want to kill anyone, yeah, you don't, you shouldn't kill people. Exit bosses. Oh no, flying Adam. Doesn't look good. Hey, uh. Are those my bowls? <laughs> hey, that's my wife.
I think that the boss is actually improving our ourselves. You lost enough people today? Not, not really happy. If the boss says you need to be a cyborg, you are going to be a cyborg. I like how this game actually captures the feel of the first Deus Ex. Okay, he's cool. Adam, it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at a Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. My God. Mr. Jensen. I, I didn't think you'd... Oh. Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you... need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... You said everyone's been moved around? Almost everyone. Who are you looking for? Has my office been moved? No, sir. You still have that great view of the lobby. Mr. Pritchard wanted it, but Mrs. Margulis put a stop to that. Up two floors and make a right. Pritchard was claiming his uh, Jensen's office. I need to get to Seraph's office. Oh, he and Mrs. Margulis are still in the penthouse. You can use the elevator at the left wing of the building to get there. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment shoved in it. Mr. Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I... I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor. Then, around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. I'll find my way. If you say so. I'll my, find my way. It's good to have you back, <laughs> sir. Here you are. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? <laughs> yeah, nice <laughs> there, to see there, you joke. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Animations are course, being funny in this it game. Might oh, it like might sting. <laughs> light imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Nice. Maybe well, not nice. You actually save people. <laughs> you got a problem with me, Pritchard. 
Why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough... Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest we leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the world. <laughs> so this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Hello. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you, six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. They, they draw it, police. You all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Basically, smooth operator you get if, if you don't get alarms and ghost you get I told Farida to put us down if you don't roof. be don't you are not seen. seen you go in. It's fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro human purists or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after he moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Yeah. Adam, I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Yeah, he, he, he would have a reason to go lethal, but non-lethal is the way we are going to there, play this game. Them. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open, high ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? The closer the better, I think. Stun is That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got pretty it. Pretty good. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs. Nine the dots. will tell you more as you go in. I've got them running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing.
I'm, I'm possibly going to play this like I did in uh, in the first time because that's my usual playstyle. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You'd know more about that than I would. Anything else? You look pretty dug in up here. What's the react team plan? We got Alpha as point and Bravo as wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, the sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want. The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycle military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his augs made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech savvy, because all we're seeing is so a they have a hot all hacker we know with them. Five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs, the kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. And I have li little mixed feelings about first person sneaking because most of the time you are not seeing much of anything. Okay, now it's loaded. Detroit. Talion Medical. Alright, we, we know that that from day of sex. Whiskey. That's what every terrorist should actually. Carry. Ah! I just saw Ah, no, no, they saw us. Ah, I died. Already. But apparently, I don't have a any kind of aiming device with that taser. Ah. 
I think this game wasn't as, as heavy on the Illuminati stuff and conspiracy theories than, than the Deus Ex. Although original Deus Ex had like... They were uh, conspiracy theories they didn't include because they were so silly. Now, now we are talking. Empty guy. So, uh, let, let's back to the broadcast which is looting. Every, everything needs to be looted in these kind of games. There's no uh, strong golden hue around the items this version. I think maybe it could be added with some mod or but this is not like in original game. But you need to be like look more carefully if you want to spot something. Grenade. Why the employee has a concussion grenade in his locker? I really don't know. Jensen. I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug them? I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. No, oh, right. Hack the world. Access granted. Script kitty. <laughs> There's at least three. At least three terrorists. These hands are here if you ever need a helping hand. Shotgun cartridges. So there's like medical instruments and shotgun cartridges. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm a bit concerned about this company. This used to be a Xbox game, so of course they need to... Small, small pieces. Come on out and we'll finish this! <laughs> well, that, that was poor. I can't hit from the one meter. Ah! Okay, there's a camera. Ah, there were a turret.
One nuke virus. Deactivate. Okay, there's a turret, but I don't have a like special options for that. Otherwise, I could actually just turn it off. Cutscene time. He's play, playing Counter Strike. Step away from the console now. Help me. Son of a bitch. So, I think somebody had. Remote access, yeah. Somebody had ha Pritchard, hacked, you're still there? hacked him. Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph now. Adam, it's David. You got the typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this, because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Okay, now, now the battery is full. So let's think all, all, all our tactic through. So, um... Hmm. can actually check this first. Trank darts. Trank gun is, is okay, but it's not like super useful. That guy is wandering around. He, he didn't he hear it. True be preoccupied. Hello. And so our, he our, our hero decided to hack all the computers in the office. Okay, I can actually... 45, but the 60% did chance to be detected. That uh, buys us some time. Access granted. Don't lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're going to have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hatter! 
I got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta, I gotta check things out. So me and la vieja, we're leaving. Fight seek, let's see, go, try to feed Josie. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. So in in Wait, this game, the talking else. is a battle damn as well. Right. I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You're doing better than you think. You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still. There's no way I could put my trust in you. You're on the same side as the cops. They got me completely surrounded and there's nothing I can do. I'm all alone in here. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. You're right. I'm not. You know what? We're done talking. The puto who tricked my brother thought he had his beat. But we are so much tougher than he counted on. I'm gonna go find him and anybody else who helped him. And when I do, they're gonna see the Angel of Vengeance in action, baby. Nothing else to say! You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not gonna let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Ugh, so obvious! Can't believe I didn't see it till now! He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, cabrón. Get out of here. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, cabrón. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna pay. What's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. What about the hostages? Shouldn't I? There's nothing you can do, son. So I couldn't save him. Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Not really. Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. It's not my place to judge, Malik. Okay then. 
You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. Apparently, I didn't find those hostages. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Yeah. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Just Being replaced with, uh, with the iron. Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident. But Pritchard couldn't get a good visual, and communications were haywire. Okay, yes, we yes, that happened. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack... was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Okay, so... Typhoon to Pritchard. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, <laughs> come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. <laughs> if this is about he, the typhoon, we'll get dick. to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. <laughs> I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. 
Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? <laughs> Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, Check him with Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Can't hurt to get a checkup. Do you insist? Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. I'm hoping it'll pay off for us later. Sanders was furious when he found out his hacker was augmented. He's not gonna rest till he finds out who set him up. Oh, and you're naive enough to think he'll share the information when he gets it. I thought you were ready for this, Adam. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, cause so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented. I pulled his cables out myself. He has yeah, cybernetic well, arm. He's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Huh. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. 